What is up guys and gals? Welcome to How to Smartphones review video of the Tuvern wallet case for the Samsung Galaxy S10. I'd like to take a quick second and thank Tuvern for giving me this opportunity to review their product. So thank you guys, I do appreciate it. And for all of you wonderful viewers, if you guys would like to check out this case, I will have a link in the description below. So the first thing that I look at when I'm buying a case is looking at the price. So the price of this case is currently $16.99 on Amazon. Um, there are five different colors you can choose from. There is a blue, a black, a gray, a pink, and a red. This is the gray one that I went with here. So it's definitely uh, looks good. And then some of the materials that it's made out of. There are a few pieces of metal on the phone case and on the lanyard itself. Um, you guys can see there. And the next bit of material that is used is this like soft rubber or a hard silicone type of material. Kind of flexible, helps get your uh, phone in and out. And if you were to drop it, it will absorb a little bit of that impact. Just that nice rubbery feel. As far as we go looking at the back, there is some microfiber cloths here on the inside where you put your cards inside the wallet portion of the case. And this is just another uh, material, kind of a leather-ish, plastic-ish type of feel to it. Um, so there's that for the exterior for the different colors that gives you that option. So I'm just gonna go ahead and test the fitment of the phone inside the case. Gonna go ahead and install the phone. It does fit in there nice and easily. And as far as movement, I don't really feel any. can't really notice any. Seems to be in there nice and snug. So if your phone does drop, it won't be flying out of there and getting more damage if you were to drop it. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look at this case. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the sides. So the first side I'm gonna start off with here is uh, the side with the power button. So as you guys can see the power button, it is raised elevated to help you find it. If you're using your device, you're able then to find that power button easily, a little more easy, a little easier. Next, we're moving down. We have a couple holes here, and this is for any kind of phone charms that you'd like to add. Just um, put them right on through here, and it'll hang off the corner of your phone. As we take a look farther down, we will see these three openings, opening for a headphone jack, your charging port, the opening for a speaker and the microphone is right here. As we take a look farther along, we will see the volume up, down button, and the Bixby button, which is kind of nice. So if you're using your device, you can distinguish between the two. Uh, and then the uh, Bixby button is single, volume up and down buttons seem to be a little more together. They are two separate buttons. So there's that, and these buttons do click nice. You can you can feel it click. It's not like some of those cheap cases where you press and you're you don't know if it's you can't tell if you're actually hitting the button. You can't feel that actual physical click of the of the device itself. You're just feeling like oh I push there. This should work. This is not like that. It does have the actual clicks. You can actually feel them. A quick look at the top here. We will see a little opening for one of the sensors here at the top of the device. Taking a look at the back, we will see there is a large opening for your uh, sensors, your camera, your, your flash, everything like that. Uh, it's got a beveled edge to give you a glare-free photo, so that is nice. Uh, taking a look farther down, we do have this wallet portion with, with, the, with a band with a, with a strap. It does have two different sizes, so that is always nice. Um, and then this strap is definitely nice, something that could be very useful uh, with... The strap, if you were to get put it in the second location, you will see that it does come up a little bit. So that can be used as a kickstand for watching videos, anything like that. It can also be used for using your device single-handedly. Slide your fingers through there and you could go ahead and use this device with just one hand. Instead of if you were trying to hold it with one hand, it's kind of hard to get something to the edges. Makes it more of a two-hand phone. This way you can go ahead and use that just for handling your uh, device. So as we move on, we will see there is the a little metal loop here for the lanyard. The lanyard does come in, th you can set it to three different sizes or it's recommended to set to three different sizes. Um, there is, you could set it for a hand strap, a wrist strap, or a neck strap just by adjusting it to give you the length that you would like, that you feel most comfortable with. And this is a pretty beefy um, little circle here that you could add to this loop. You can add different things like keys. You can add keys if you had a little carabiner. You can slide them on there and keep everything in one place. You can have them on with this as well. Um, just kind of hang this off your shoulder and you have everything in one place at that point. So it's definitely nice. And then let's take a look at the front. We will see that the edges are 
taken off or designed to not be there for any edge edge features that are on the S10. There are, however, raised edges on the top and on the bottom of the device. So if your phone were to fall or be slid around face down um, on any kind of surface, it will protect it. Uh, if it were to fall straight on a rock, obviously that will not, these raised edges will not uh, prevent any kind of damage at that point. But if it's a flat surface and it does slide around, it does protect it from there. So those raised edges are definitely nice. Um, it's got a nice kickstand used for that has several different features and as far as the wallet portion of this case you can fit up to four cards um, in there um, or you could do three cards and some cash otherwise this tends to get a little bit crowded and a little bit harder to uh, get stuff in and out and it's definitely secure so once you have your cards in there you can set this at a little higher and it'll just stick up some and it'll still give you the protection that ease of hey my stuff's not going to fall out even when it's upside down so that's definitely a nice little locking mechanism there is a plus as well and as far as this case it is wireless capable you can use your wireless charging um, the only thing that i've noticed is it will only charge if there is one card in there if you have three or four cards in there it won't charge um, makes it a little bit more difficult so kind of keep that in mind when you are um, using your wireless charging or if you do use your wireless charging keep that in mind so you might just go with the old-fashioned way and plugging your charger through the bottom so that's kind of it for that all, all I have for this case definitely a cool case a lot of features a um, lot of things that are built into it I do like this strap the way that it's functional it got a multi-purpose use for it I like the fact that you can set it up as a kickstand or use it as a one-hand type of use for your device. So definitely a plum thumbs up, give it a uh, recommendation. I would recommend this case to anybody who is looking for something like this and definitely in a price range with a fairly quality build, definitely nice build, some nice stitching around the edges, gives it a nice kind of better look. So overall, great case, something that I do like, something that I would recommend for somebody looking for a wallet type case or a case with a multi-purpose use like with this, um, with this, hand strap here so definitely thumbs up if you guys like to check it out i'll have that link in the description below go ahead and check that out and that's all i got for you guys in this one thanks for watching have a nice day